So, like I say, we're joined by Vivian McNiven, who's a project officer at Active Fife and runs uh, uh, Bums Off Seats. Yeah, yes, uh-huh. uh, Vivian, thanks for coming along to Radio West Fife this afternoon. You're um, tell us what Bums Off Seats is all about. Well, Bums Off Seats is a health walking project, and it's actually I've been on the go since two thousand and one. So it's quite a a long standing project, and it's aimed to encourage people to become more active, but become active through walking. So we offer led health walks for people and they're short and they're local and it's all about getting people to walk more and to try and get it part of their daily routine and their daily life. So who can all get involved with that? It's pretty much open to anyone as long as you can feel that you can move for about 10 minutes safely to start off with then you're able to come along to our health walks and a lot of our health walks are also suitable for walking with wheels whether that's walking with buggies, prams or motorised scooters. And what would you say the health benefits are of uh, regular exercise like this? Well, there's lots of health benefits um, to being physically active and we're finding out more and more all the time. Um, Obviously, it's very, very good exercise for your heart and helping manage your weight, control diabetes. And it also has an impact on a lot of cancers as well, Um, a lot of preventative type activities in, in walking. So how can people find out a bit more in, in terms of these walks, like you know, distance and terrain and so on? There's quite a bit of information on the Fife Council. We've got our own wee mini website there and that they can go on to find out where the walks are, where their nearest local walk is, and it tells them in the timetables the length of the walk that they can expect to be doing and a bit about the route that they can be expect to be doing as well within that. And, and what should people expect if they come along to one of your walks? Well, our walks are led by a team of volunteers um, and they're all trained walk leaders. So they're they're met with a friendly smile and a friendly face to start off with. Um, They're very good fun, the health walks, and that's generally the thing that keeps people coming back is they're very social. Generally, a health walk lasts about 40 minutes to about a maximum of an hour. And within that, you do as much as you're able to do and the walk leaders will guide you within that. Thursday afternoon and Radio West 5 plays you, you too. Uh, we're joined today by Vivian McNiven from Active 5. She's talking about the project Bums Off Seats and she's got a whole stack of information here and I, I'm not quite sure how we're going to cover all of it. One of the things, Vivian, that puts me off going for a walk from time to time is the fact that I'm not quite sure where to go. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really need some sort of information to kind of motivate me, you know, some recommendations. Have you got anything, anybody you could direct me in terms of that? Well, a lot of our um, walkers feel the same and that they would rather walk with a group of people as well to keep them motivated. Um, we have um, a, a large selection of health walks throughout Fife that are sort of um, nine areas within Fife where the walks are based from and within that there are lots of different routes that our walk leaders take our walkers on and that information is available on our timetables as well. A lot of our routes are also waymarked and we use existing waymarked routes so people feel comfortable that they get to know the routes and then hopefully they'll go out and do them themselves as well when they've got a bit more confidence. From the other side of things, um, obviously Doreen is one of your walk leaders yes, as well. Yes, yes. Um, so you, you're technically Doreen's boss. Can, can, <laughs> oh, you, can oh, you deliver any scandal? <laughs> I'm between two bosses here. <laughs> can, can you can you dis- deliver any scandal? Oh no, perfect walk leader. Perfect I don't leader. believe it. I tell you what, she forgot to turn up on Saturday for the Saturday walk. <laughs> it went right out of my head. How's that for a walk leader? Oh. Oh, okay. There was enough walk leaders there. Oh, I completely forgot it was the Saturday one. Mm. Dizzy so blonde that, and all. I know, that's a good start. <laughs> so, um, Doreen, how did you get involved in Bums Off Seats? Um, well, because when I moved to Dunfermline, I wanted to do something active and I also wanted to do something worthwhile and didn't know a soul. So I um, volunteered on the Fife Council, uh, on the volunteer website online and found up Bums Off Seats and it just needed someone to walk. Um, and I thought, well, that means in Scotland, walk in the rain, really. Um, <laughs> a lot of times, so, yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, I don't mind getting wet. Um, and went along, met Vivian, and she encouraged me to go through the little course and uh, get to know everybody and everything. It's been great. It is really, really good. I thoroughly enjoy the walks. So where have you been the walking then? This morning, we were round Petrivi, down from the athletic field there, and away round about the housing estate and the cycle path a bit round Housing Estate and back down and round. It's a, it's a nice walk. It's a lovely walk. So you, you actually walk um, through Housing Estates as well as you know Ju- out in the country, so to speak. 
Yeah, it's very, very local a health walk. It's about people being able to open their front door and just access what's available to them. So some of the places in Fife are really quite rural, so they have quite a lot of countryside to walk through. Um, but we also have very um, urban areas as well that we use. And it's about finding the beauty that's in that local area. What's your favourite thing, Vivian, about a walk? What You know, when you go out and about, what gives you a buzz? When oh, definitely the people on it. It's the chat on the walk. You can hear the walk coming before you even see it. And uh, that's the fun part about it. That's what people come back for, is they're doing some physical activity, but they're having a great time doing it. So it's a big, giant gossip session, really. Pretty I like much. the sound <laughs> of that. I, I noticed Doreen started to giggle a little bit there. So I'm wondering, do you have a story that you can share with us from one of these walks? <laughs> No, not not really. It's just the fact that sometimes, you know, you are supposed to be back marker, which is the walker at the back, you know, the, the walk leader at the back. And um, it was just when Vivian said, chat there, you do have to remember that you're supposed to be looking for the cars, the bicycles, the horses, the dogs, the whatever it is, you know, and just not get too involved in the chat um, <laughs> with everybody. But I find everyone is lovely and you do get to know a lot about people. Definitely. Um, well, you've, de- you've definitely walks. sold it. So how do people get in touch, Vivian, if they want to find out more about Bums Off Seats? If they have access to a computer, we have, uh, as I said before, a mini site within the Fife Council website. So they should just go into the search there and type in Bums Off Seats or walking and they'll get information. But we also have information in the local libraries, community centres. So they can pick up timetables pretty much throughout Fife. And is there a telephone number people can call at all? Uh, yes, and um, we do. But you don't know it, do you? <laughs> 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 the top of my head. I dare say it's one of these 0845 numbers then if you're yes, involved with the council. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, I, I can understand why you wouldn't remember it then. <laughs> yes, yeah, so 08451555555 and then 402243 or 45 at the end. Oh, that's far too complicated then. Um, we'll, we'll just, <laughs> I'm, we'll do, we'll, we'll, I'm very impressed, but we'll put, we'll put a wee link in Facebook. I think that might be easier once we find yes. out. Well, Vivian, thanks for coming along to Radio West Fife this afternoon. Thank and you. Uh, I might well join you in one of these walks Look sometime in the near it. future.